take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on, let me stand. I'm tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on. When the darkness appears and the night draws near and the day is past and gone At the river, at the river I stand Hold my feet, guide my hand Take my hand Precious Lord, lead me home. Welcome to the Quarantine Chapel. It is a joy to share this service uh, with you today. And I pray that God will continue to give you a blessing today as we trust Him for great uh, and wonderful things. Would you join me for prayer? Almighty God, we come in your presence today. And we're thankful that we are depending on uh, your mighty hand uh, to lead us. If there is a time that we need leadership, Lord, uh, it is now. Because it just seems like we cannot depend uh, on uh, everyone else around us to lead us. And Lord, we need uh, a mighty hand. We need uh, a God who knows it all. We need uh, the, the, the God uh, that, that is greater than ourselves. We need uh, a God uh, that knows us better than ourselves. So Lord, uh, we ask uh, that you may take us by the hand, uh, dear Father, and lead us out through every circumstance and situation that we find ourselves in. And we know it's only you, Lord can make a difference. Bless this message to our hearts, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want to share the scripture reading with you from uh, the book of Psalms. Uh, and it's a well familiar Psalms, uh, Psalms 23. It says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Uh, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Uh, he leadeth me beside uh, still waters. Uh, he restored my soul. Uh, he leadeth me in path of righteousness uh, for his name's sake. Uh, and yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod uh, and thy staff, uh, they comfort me. Uh, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Uh, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Uh, and I will dwell uh, in the house of the Lord uh, forever. Who is uh, leading you? Uh, who has control over your life? Uh, who is leading you out of uh, a bad situation? Uh, who is leading you to make uh, the right decisions in your life uh, that can make a difference? Uh, who do you turn to for advice? Uh, who do you turn to for counsel? Uh, who is it that's speaking in your ears? Uh, who is it uh, that's affecting and influencing uh, your heart uh, and uh, your mind. Well, all of the influencers uh, that you have had, uh, all of the leaderships uh, that you have experienced, uh, 
I want to be able to share with you uh, the leadership of Almighty God uh, through our Lord uh, and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I want to share with you this message today entitled, Who is Leading You? Uh, and uh, there were three, three aspects of leadership uh, that if you allow God to use within your life, uh, you will always come out on top uh, and you will always come out being uh, a blessing today. Yeah. The first uh, aspect uh, of leadership uh, that is important for our life today is the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Uh, if we allow the Holy Spirit uh, to lead and guide us into all truth uh, or to lead us into the path of righteousness uh, for his name's sake, uh, as the Bible says, uh, he leads us uh, um, beside the still waters. Uh, he restores our soul. Uh, he leads us in path of righteousness for his name's sake. If we depend on the leadership of the Holy Spirit, our lives would be the what God wants us to be. And God will take us out of the circumstance and situation that we find ourselves in. You see in the Bible, the kings and prophets and, and and the people of Israel, uh, they always depended on the leadership uh, of uh, the Spirit of God. Uh, there were times when the Spirit of God will come upon the prophet. Uh, and I can remember the prophet uh, Hosea and the prophet Jeremiah and the prophet Isaiah. And uh, and you, you can read all of uh, the prophets in the Old Testament. How the Spirit of God comes upon them uh, and anoint them uh, and lead them uh, to speak on God's behalf. The Spirit of God lead them to victory. The Spirit of God has led them to prosperity. And God has taken men like Joshua and men like Moses and he led them through the wilderness and led them through the victory of conquering Jericho. Led them through the Red Sea and the leadership of God has always brought victory and prosperity in their hearts and in their lives. Remember Jesus said to his disciples, I would not leave you comfortless but when I leave you the Holy Spirit who is going to lead you and guide you into all truth and if we depend upon the leadership of the Holy Spirit today, we can experience the, the truth and the guidance of Almighty God. I pray today uh, that uh, when things uh, are bad, uh, that we will turn to the Spirit of God. Uh, we will not turn to our desires. Uh, sometimes we will allow our desires to lead us uh, and lead us into uh, a great downfall. Uh, sometimes we, will, we allow the, the desire of money and desire of greed uh, and desire of pleasure uh, to lead us down the path of destruction. Uh, but if we... Uh, are, be anointed by the Holy Spirit there. If we are filled with the Holy Spirit there, if we are led by the Holy Spirit, then that Holy Spirit would empower us. That Holy Spirit would lead us in miraculous ways that we would not even imagine. The Holy Spirit led the Apostle Paul, uh, the Holy Spirit to victory. Uh, the Holy Spirit led, uh, you know, um, Peter, James, and John out of the prison. Uh, I mean, because people were praying. Uh, and saints, uh, we need to go back to uh, the leadership of the Holy Spirit today. Uh, yes, uh, it's important for us to go back to the leadership of the Holy Spirit because the leadership uh, of the Holy Spirit has the mind of God. The leadership of the Holy Spirit that uh, has the truth of God. The leadership of the Holy Spirit has the presence of God. And if we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us, we can be victorious within our hearts and within our lives. Uh, that's why before I do anything in my life, uh, I pray to Almighty God. I said, Lord, let your Holy Spirit open up my heart and open up my understanding. When I'm faced with a difficult problem, uh, whether it's at work uh, or whether uh, I mean, it, it, it's um, uh, a situation uh, that, that come into my life, uh, I, I, I get on my knees and I said, Lord, your Holy Spirit know it, uh, knows and understands everything. And I, I need you, dear Lord, uh, 
to allow your spirit to lead uh, and guide. That's why the Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Trust in the Lord with all of thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. God is still directing our path and directing our lives if we will allow him today. Some people take matters in their own hands, especially when they're depressed, especially when they're confronted with a situation, especially when they're upset. And because of that, they, they, they think that they can maneuver their way through this because they may, they may have friends and they may have knowledge and they may have money and they think that they can maneuver their way through life because of these things. But so many have failed. It was Sinatra that sang, I did it my way. And listen to what the Bible says about this. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. When you do it your way, you mess things up. When you put your hand in it, well, God is not able to, to do the what he really wants us to do. But if we allow the Spirit to lead us, we know that we're going in the right direction and we would experience victory. The, the other thing that God has given us to lead us is his word. Uh, that's right. Uh, God's word. Uh, if we allow God's word to lead us. Uh, and in order for us to know uh, what's in God's word, we have to read it. Uh, we have to hold on to the promises of God. I would never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, we have to hold on to the promises of God that says, uh, ask anything in my name uh, and I will grant it. Uh, we have to hold on to the promise of God as said, he that cometh unto God must believe that he is, and he is a reward to them who diligently seek him. God has given us his word for correction, for guidance, for prosperity, for instruction, God for a blessing, for his favor, because within the word of God is the mind of God. Within the word of God are the promises of God. Within the word of God are the hope that Christ is given us uh, that we can trust him uh, in uh, every way yeah you, you know, um, it's important for us uh, to get back to basic, to get back reading the Word of God, uh, to get back being inspired uh, by the Word of God. You see, because uh, um, the Word inspires us, uh, the Word uh, reveals to us uh, God's uh, plan for our hearts and our lives. Uh, the Word, I mean, encourages us. Uh, it shows us of the victory of the past uh, and the victory of the present uh, and the victory in the future oh hallelujah get back to basic and get back to reading God's word and we will see how God can prosper us there is another thing that it's important for us it's not just being led by the spirit of God not just being led by the word of God but we need to be led by the will of God if you are in God's will today yeah you cannot go wrong if as, as um, the Apostle Paul said, for I am persuaded uh, that neither height nor death, uh, nor angels, nor principalities, uh, none can separate us from the love of God. Uh, because if you're in the will of God, you're in his love. Uh, if you're in his love, you're in his will. Uh, and the will of God give us the confidence uh, that we are uh, have a purpose uh, in, in, the, in, in how God is going to use us in this world today. The will of God gives us that sense of purpose, that we have been directed by God, that we are in his favor, that that he is, I mean, directly guiding us in the way that he want us to go. It was Jesus who said, Never my, nevertheless, that my will, but thine will be done. And this is what we all always need to do. We need to put things in the hands of God. We need to put things that we need to allow the will of God to take place in our hearts and in our lives. 
And there are times when we feel like, you know, we know better than God. There are times that we try to impose our will upon the will of God. But let me say to you, there is no will that is stronger than the will of God. Because when God says, I am that I am, he will his presence in your life. When God says, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, he will that power in your life. Uh, when he says the same spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead is the same spirit that is within you. Uh, he has will uh, his resurrection power within your heart and within your life. Uh, so no matter what, uh, I tell you in today's day and age, uh, we need uh, to be led by the hand of God. Uh, we need the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we need uh, the leadership of God's word uh, and we need uh, to be led by God's will uh, so that we can fulfill uh, his purpose. Uh, I pray today that as you continue to trust the Lord, uh, as you continue to allow him uh, to work uh, his will and his way in your heart and in your life, uh, that you would be able uh, to say, uh, precious Lord, uh, take my hand. Uh, Say, I'm tired. Eh? I hope you're able to say, I'm worn. I hope you may say, through the storm and through the night, lead me on to the light. Jesus says that I am the light of the world. We pray that you would allow him to take his hand. No, may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The love of God and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit rest and abide with you today as you allow Almighty God to take you by the hand and lead you in by still waters and lead you in pastures green and lead you to victory today. I know this week is going to be a triumphant week in your life because you have surrendered yourself to Almighty God, and you said, Lord, lead me on. Amen, and amen, and amen. Let God lead you today. Are you allowing God to lead you today? Are you allowing the power of God to be on your side? Because, you know, when you're led by the Spirit uh, and the power of God, uh, you know, when you're led by the Spirit uh, and the Word of God, uh, something is about to happen uh, on your behalf. Did you hear me today? Uh, when the will of God fulfills uh, your heart uh, and, uh, and your life, uh, then you have a sense of purpose uh, in our world. And regardless of what comes, whether the darkness, then you know that God's hand is in your life. It was the, the Apostle Peter when he uh, was going through that storm uh, and he said, Lord, bid me uh, to come to thee uh, and walk on the water. And Jesus said, come. Uh, and he was the only man in history that we know that walked on water. And then when he was sinking because his faith uh, began to fail him, and Jesus reached out by the hand and lifted him up. Uh, I hope you would allow God to take your hand today and just lead you. And just lead you home. Hallelujah. May God bless you today.